two of my um, top 10 favorite Christmas movies. Now, the reason I had to do part two, I didn't expect to do part two, but the reason I did part two is because I got cut off at the end of the other video because I had like only three minutes left and I have four more movies to talk about and I have a lot to say about them. So um, let's just get to it. So number four, this is a movie that I saw for the first time tonight. I have never seen this movie in my life. And I know a lot of you can be like, you never saw this movie in your life. That, that, how could you? Um, I don't know. I just, I never, for some reason, I never saw this movie until now. And it is a fantastic movie. It had such a big impact on me. And that is It's a Wonderful Life. I've never seen this movie till now. And I know it's like the big holiday movie that everybody loves. And I know a lot of people are like, why isn't this your number one? Because there are just three other movies that I prefer over this one. Definitely after watching this movie, though, what I love about this movie is I watched this movie in color, right? I know a lot of people watch in black and white, and they say it's not good in color. I watched it in color, and I still loved it. It's a fantastic movie. There are so many great scenes in this movie. But I think the impact that this has on people is what's so great. This guy right here, um, this guy right here... He doesn't have a great life. He really does not have the best life ever. He, he doesn't. Um, but it's the, you know, the impact that this movie has on people that you should appreciate your life and, you know, appreciate the life you have because you're not going to have it forever and you're not going to live forever. And that's the right big message I love about this movie. And you will cry at the end of this movie. You will get a little teary-eyed. I, myself, got a little teary-eyed at the end of this movie. I felt like I was going to cry at the end. It was just, it had such a big impact on me. There's so many big things about this movie that's so good. All the performances are amazing. It, it really is the definition of a timeless movie. If there was not, there was, if you know, if you have never seen this movie, you need to see it right now. It is so amazing. Just, just perfect holiday movie. So good. All right. So number three. Now, the, now we're down to the top three. Now, all three of these movies, the reason I haven't met these three is because I've actually watched these movies ever since I was little. Now, the third one, this next one I'm going to be talking about, my father is completely obsessed with this movie around Christmas time. Like, they show, like, a 24-hour viewing of this movie, I know, every Christmas. And my father always loves to watch this movie during Christmas uh, because it is his favorite. And that is a Christmas story. And I love this movie as well. It is a great movie. Um, one of the things that I love about this movie is just that, it, one, it's so, so funny. It's it's just so funny. And um, two is just, it's a time, another timeless movie. Just like It's a Wonderful Life, it's a timeless movie. This one for different reasons. This one's just more funny. You could set this in any time period, basically, and it would still be hilarious. Um, just look, just from here, you can see all the funny scenes. You know, um, ton stuff to a lamppost, um, the leg lamp, the hilarious scene, the bunny scene, the Santa Claus scene, uh, the whole you'll shoot your eye out thing, and the whole he wants this BB gun, but everyone, you know, tells him you'll shoot your eye out. Um, the triple, triple dog dare. So many uh, quotable lines in this movie. So many funny parts. Uh, the fa ra 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 yeah, That's, I mean, that's so hilarious. Um, just so many funny parts of this movie. It's such a funny movie, and I absolutely love to watch a Christmas movie during the uh, Christmas story during the holiday season. So a Christmas story definitely is number three. It is fantastic. And it is absolutely hilarious as well. If you guys have not seen it, just go check it out. All right, number two. Now, the last two are basically just series of movies. Now, this one, I haven't actually seen these movies in a long time. Um, not really a long time, just for a few years. And I just saw them again for the first time today, and they are amazing and hilarious. And those are the Home Alone movies, specifically the first two. Um, the third one is good. It's not as good as the first two. The fourth one is awful. But the first two specifically are fantastic, especially the first one. The first one is by far the best. Um, just the whole story, you know, kids are home alone, he's a man in the house, at first he loves being home alone, then he realizes that it's, you know, bad and everything, he's home alone, and he has to protect himself from these robbers, and definitely the stuff he does to the robbers are pretty brutal, I think. I think it's really funny what he does to the robbers. Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern are so funny in this. Macaulay Culkin was a fantastic actor, um, and of course the kid's name is Kevin, so that also um, does give it something. Um, 
just, you know, it's such a funny, it's just such a fun movie to watch. It also has that heart to it, you know, with him and that old man who wants to basically say, you know, see his family again. He hasn't been able to see his family and, you know, he kind of teaches him to do that. And I really love that as well. I don't actually, I didn't actually remember that in the movie and I thought that was great that I saw that again. And I really, really love these movies. They're just so good. And Home Alone is just, they're, they're perfect movies. The first two especially. The third one's good, but the first two are perfect, in my opinion. So my number one, we're down to my number one favorite Christmas movies. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be like, that's your number one? Um, I have seen these movies ever since I was a little kid, and they've all become a huge part of my Christmas. I absolutely love these movies, and that is the Santa Claus movies. Yes, I know. You're going to say It's a Wonderful Life was number four and this is number one. It's a Wonderful Life should have been number one. We'll stop about that because these are my favorite. These were like the first Christmas movies I personally, I, I ever saw. They really were. They were the first Christmas movies I ever saw. The first Christmas movies that I really, really loved. For years, I wanted this on DVD and I finally got it on DVD like a couple years ago and I've had it since, and I, I absolutely love these movies, especially the first two. The third one's okay, but the first two are fantastic. You know, the whole story of he's this guy who, you know, doesn't really spend a lot of time with his child, and um, one day he just, he's with his child, uh, Charlie, and he, you know, he, you know, there's Santa on the roof, and he actually ended up becoming Santa, and through this he also reconnects with his his son, and I just think that's such a great message in the movie. And then you get to the second one, which is more like him trying to find a wife and everything, and that one's so funny, and I've always loved the second one as well. I think the first two are really good. The third one, the reason I don't think many people like the third one, which I like the third one, it's not my favorite, but I like it. Um, it's a very different type of movie. The first two are much more, um, they're much more, they're, they're more mature, I'd say. You know, the first one's more about him becoming Santa. The second one's about finding a wife. This one is about kind of like It's a Wonderful Life, but a little bit different. Um, this one's more about him basically appreciating what he has in life and Jack Frost and everything. Who, Jack Frost didn't even need to be in the movie. I thought Jack Frost was good, but he kind of just, he just kind of ruined the movie for me. Uh, the parents were really funny. Um, Alan, Alan Arkin. It was in the movie, and he was he was still really funny. You know, they were really great, but I just thought it wasn't as good as the first two. However, these are my favorite Christmas movies. I've always loved these Christmas movies, and they become such a big part of Christmas for me. And I just, I love these movies so much. Um, every Christmas Eve, I watch these movies, and they are just so good. I haven't seen them yet this year, but I will be watching them Christmas Eve, because they are really, really good. And also they, they show the importance of, you know, giving and things like that and family, and I really love that. So those are my top ten favorite Christmas movies. There are a couple Christmas movies that I have not yet seen. I have not seen Love Actually. I have not seen Miracle on 34th Street. Those are the two that I really need to see. Um, I have not seen I'll Be Home for Christmas, which I know a lot of people love that one, but I have not seen it. Um, but those are my top ten. So I know some people are going to be like, you put this in number one. I just really love those movies. They've always had such a big impact on me. And I've always really, really loved them. But um, that's it for uh, this video. Let me know what your favorite top ten Christmas movies are. Um, what's your favorite to watch. And I'm going to be doing some other Christmas videos for you. Um, Christmas Eve I'll be doing a video of like what my Christmas is usually like, which should be fun. And um, I will see you guys for um, the next video, which I don't know when the next video is going to be, but it will be sometime before Christmas. So I'll see you then. Bye.